Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, a day off that I've taken uh, since my crash yesterday. I uh, managed to get everything fixed. Uh, got the oil changed in the roll-off, so that's pretty cool. That was a job that needed doing. Uh, I've taken the aero bars off because one of them broke, and I'm not using them that much nowadays because the, uh, the foam pads uh, were starting to perish in the sun, <laughs> so I don't really use them that much. Uh, emptied the trailer, cleaned it out a bit, um, throwing away a few things, uh, just sort of lightening the load a little bit. So yeah, everything's pretty good. Solar panels are a real mess since the crash, but still working, surprisingly. They're quite resilient, these cells. These are sun power cells. They are flexible, but uh, yeah, they're, they're doing okay, actually. But the, the, the panels themselves look a bit of a mess. But yeah, enjoyed my rest day. Got a lot of YouTube videos edited. I've, I've done four so far. I've just spent the last like eight hours or six hours just editing videos, chilling out, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. In this lovely, uh, lovely hostel, uh, White Camel Youth Hostel. Uh, really nice, really cheap. It's got air conditioning. Uh, I'm in Tapan, and it's uh, it's really hot here, so it's nice to have air conditioning. Everywhere in China, you see these electric uh, trike things. They're really cool, actually. Um, Electric vehicles are everywhere in China. It's something I wasn't really expecting. Um, I was just expecting big, dirty cities with bad pollution. Cause you, you always see, you know, in media and stuff, you see people wearing the face pollution masks. But in reality, it's it's not so bad. Everyone drives electric vehicles, so uh, they're actually pretty clean. The air quality is quite good. <laughs> I've had uh, literally one day off in over a month of riding every day, and it's funny because I'm up at. I've just started at 7 o'clock, this is the earliest I'm allowed to start in the race and I'm like super excited to get back on the bike. Uh, it's nice to be riding already. Uh, big climb through the desert today, so uh, gonna take it pretty easy, probably be a shorter day anyway. So uh, yeah, just happy to be back on the bike really. I just received a, a message from uh, Augustin Camille from the KU Lieben uh, Belgian team. Uh, they're the guys that I was cycling with towards the start, the Belgian boys. And basically I've been chasing them all the way across Central Asia. And uh, they just asked if I had a spare XT60 connector, which <laughs> I almost didn't 24 hours ago. kilometers ahead of me so it's gonna be nice to see them again after a very long time. Is that a Mirage or a orange colored solar powered trike? <laughs> oh hey! <laughs> sunset over the mountains and uh, we all just slept in a little, a little circle in here. It's nice not to have to put the tents away in the morning. Um, yeah, not that far from the road, the road's down there so all we got to do now is head <laughs> down the hill and uh, yeah we're straight back on the road. Great little camping spot. <laughs> <laughs> 